Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where you make me think about stuff. That is right. Yesterday, um, I pondered, and I never ceased to be amazed at how much good thinking you make me go through. Yesterday, you were all having a lot of fun, or some of you were having fun with the word uh, that is so difficult to pronounce for this Mexican mouth, the the F, f, the, the P-H-O, the, 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 the name of the food, the name of the restaurant, et cetera, et cetera. And some of you were making fun of it and attaching the word to other words that made it sound like you were having fun of the language. And I was not getting it. And then I thought to myself, well, this is, is this, are we being disrespectful? And, and I left it at that. And I thought about this during the day. And I first thought to myself, well, you know, we cannot be racist. But then uh, last night I was lying in bed and I thought to myself, well, wait a second, Paco. You fuck around with English and Spanish words all the time. You combine them. You make fun at them. You make fun with them. So there is absolutely no difference. So it took me a few hours, <laughs> but I get it. I get it. And... Um, and I'm so grateful because because I, I just love it when when you put ideas in my head and you make me think about what we do and what we don't do. So let's have all kinds of fun saying the word f or fo or whatever it is. I am sure that any Vietnamese friend we have out there will know that we are not making fun of their culture. And I will continue exploring the fun similarities and differences between Spanish and English moving forward. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee and Headlines. As always, we are going to look at headlines from our city, state, and country. We are going to look at your comments, and we are going to be eternally grateful for the opportunity of learning from you, uh, of connecting dots, of connecting things between us and between us and our destination. Um, I'm already seeing cues. We haven't even announced the, 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 the rules, but I love this. Does anyone know what kind of chemical uh, the mosquito sprayers use? As a matter of fact, Debbie, there are different brands and different brands use different compounds. And I do happen to know that uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, let me finish that thought. Uh, some brands have certain things that some people are concerned about. All I can say to you is read the labels, look at the ingredients, and find whatever product that rocks your boat the least. Unless you're using a completely natural product, there is something going to be dangerous uh, in whatever you choose to consume. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast, I suppose. And it's funny you should bring that up today because we'll have a news item that is related to that you guys are so fucking funny i love it for sure says sage i missed some of the good ones bill says that is funny <laughs> alan says forget about it forget about it oh you guys are so supportive i love it i love it anyhow it's time to hit the news and uh 
Yes, we were all talking about this yesterday, Jeff, and uh, and I was feeling all offended. And then I realized, Paco, you know, there's there's no reason for you to feel offended. You do this all the time. Um, in fact, I'm going to share with you one of the common. Uh, oh my God, wasn't he Bill? Bill says we got to 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 the restaurant yesterday and had a wonderful meal. And Charlie was great to talk to. He was adorable and so bright in his presentation and so grateful for being here. We'll have a full interview tomorrow. Um, I chose to go with the second half of our walking tour for today, but tomorrow I will wrap up the editing for the interview that I conducted with him so that we can all get to know Charlie and support this wonderful new restaurant here in town. Um, I'm all over the place, my bad, but I am going to focus now. We are going to do our news, which are interesting. Let's go. Oh, where are the news? There are the news. So much for not worrying about a tropical storm because it is still five days away. Well, now it's four. Forecasters now have plotted its expected trajectory and it is headed right our way at present time. It still remains unnamed, but it is expected to become Tropical Storm Rosling in the next few hours. It could evolve into a hurricane by tomorrow and reach the coast of Jalisco and Nayarit by the weekend, passing over our bay as a Category 2 hurricane. Um, I'm not making this up. So we are going to keep close tabs on this one because, again, the trajectory is headed right our way. Let us hope that that is not the case. But if that is the case, let us stay watchful and mindful of the news. Maybe it's because it is Halloween, but maybe it is because it's the end of the world. I don't know. But five different mild earthquakes have been detected with epicenters near Puerto Vallarta in the past 48 hours. Did somebody forget to pay some bills or something? Fortunately, the vast majority of us did not feel a thing, but it is, is it me or has the ground in our vicinity been rather shaky lately? Uh, I hope this is not something that we need to worry about. But just a second ago, we were talking about chemicals and things like that. If you are still vaping, despite the fact that it's become illegal to sell uh, the paraphernalia here in Mexico, you may want to know that authorities have announced that some rather unpleasant chemical compounds have been found within the devices, as many as 33, when manufacturers only warn against three. Among them, a chemical compound called linalool, which is used both as a perfume but also as an insecticide. Mind you, I know there are all kinds of chemical compounds in everyday products, as we were just mentioning, um, and we should, we can, and we should make intelligent decisions about what to use and what not to use and how to best care of our bodies and our environment. But the fact remains that vaping is considered more dangerous than cigarette smoking, and I thought you should know. As I mentioned yesterday, Secretary of Government Adán Augusto López pushed Jalisco Governor Enrique Alfaro's buttons by addressing the violence in our state. But the button pushing had hints of political motivation when he argued that the violence takes place at the most in opposition states. Of course, our governor replied, and now the Secretary of Government has pushed back again, which is all lovely. But... Uh, now, both mandatories are being heavily criticized for playing a he said, she said game instead of focusing on the actual problem, which is the increased level of violence that prevail in the entire country, despite or regardless of the political alignment of any given location. Hopefully, hopefully that will be the case. Uh, we don't need any more violence than we already have. Um, but speaking of violence, let's take a look at the weather forecast just to see what we can expect for the next few days as we await the possibility of a hurricane heading our way. Ah, yes, and I forgot to turn the weather on. Here she is. Are you going to play with your... What? Ooh, 
Are you going to play with your meat stick or are you going to check your weather report? I am going to do both, just not at the same time, as a matter of fact. Uh, and certainly not now. It is 28 degrees right now. Uh, humidity is not as high as yesterday. It is only 94% and our temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is 82. Our weather forecast for today says... Humid and mostly cloudy through the day with a high of 31 and a low of 24. Friday, tomorrow, it'll be humid and mostly cloudy through the day with a high of 31 and a low of 24. And Saturday, I know, meat stick. Hello, Luisa. Uh, Saturday, possible light rain in the evening with a high of 29 and a low of 25. Who plays with their meat stick on a Thursday? I tell you. Uh, we have more things here that I want to unpack, starting with the fact that the city of Puerto Vallarta, through its cultural institute, has unveiled all the official activities related to Day of the Dead this year, which will begin on October 27 and will conclude on November 5. This article breaks down just about everything you can expect to happen that was announced yesterday by the Department of Culture in this very legible, easy to read um, image that was published on Facebook. Um, lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff that is not easy to read. Highlights include a folkloric dance performance on Monday the 31st at Los Arcos, a charro parade on Wednesday the 2nd, and another folkloric dance performance on Thursday the 3rd, also at Los Arcos. As we've said before, um, some of these things are better described, better explained than others, and we will endeavor to continue looking at what is announced so that we can pull out what will be most interesting to most of us, and, um, and hopefully we'll see each other out there enjoying the celebration. And speaking of celebration, if you're wondering what our military personnel does within the military zone located past the airport, the family-oriented Sunday tours of the facility are returning this coming Sunday, during which regular folks like you and I can have access to tour the facility and <laughs> learn more about the military's training, equipment, purpose, and so forth. The activity is family-friendly dog friendly and you are even encouraged to arrive uh, with a bicycle so you can move within the campground on a bicycle if you so desire. I've never been to one of those. I've always been curious and um, maybe, maybe this weekend we can find out what our soldiers and military men and women do to keep themselves entertained. I bet Never mind. I was going to say something dirty, but it's uncalled for. Instead, let us walk. Previously on Isla Rio Cuale, <laughs> we were crossing under the Insurgente Street Bridge yesterday when we decided to split this into two, and now we are on the on the shopping area of the Isla. If you haven't seen it up close, there is a new handicap accessible access that makes it very easy for you to get on or off the island if you have a wheelchair friend with you and I decided to get close to the river again for you to see just what things are looking like there's a there's some water coming down the the mountains not a lot but because it's brown it means it's been raining up there but everything looks otherwise very clean very organized this is probably the area in which authorities did the most work uh, and of course, what follows is all the shopping area within the Isla. A lot of vendors here, although I will be happy to um, let you know that uh, I found it 
I spotted a couple of products that really caught my attention and I will mention them uh, as soon as I see them. But again, now the vast majority of the booths are open for business because of course they know that there are a lot of a lot more people or maybe more people um, walking around. And I'm seeing your cues in the comments. We'll address those in a little while. Many things to buy and many vendors asking for you to get close and so forth and so on. Some vendors more proactive than others. He takes plastic fantastic. I love it. Um, by the way, the preferred phrase, in case you don't or you're not interested, all you have to do is say no gracias with a nice smile and uh, you won't offend anyone. I think whenever we walk past these folks and just don't even acknowledge them, we may be a little bit on the rude side after all. They're just trying to make a living, but they are definitely eager to sell their wares. Oh, I think I got close to these little, yes, I did. I just love these, these spinning things. I don't know that I would ever spend money on one, but um, you know, I could probably stare at them for the longest time. Uh, this, is, this is one of the newer pedestrian bridges. This one doesn't wobble at all. It's kind of like pedestrian suspended bridge 2.0. The old ones are very wobbly, but the new sturdier structures are much better. And I was happy to see that there is some progress on the one remaining uh, suspended access to and from the island. This was the one that connects the island directly to or right next door to the municipal market. This is the one that vendors have been complaining about that is unfinished, but now it even has some hanging structures and everything seems to indicate that it will be completed sometime soon. Or so we hope. More spinning chingaderas. And the little mini shirts. I saw these adorable, tiny, tiny little... Oh, I saw these. Oh, well, we always see these, but I never got close to them. All these um, weed o'clock. I love that. And this one says pinche gringo. I love that too. These are put together... These are uh, vehicle uh, license plate collages. Uh, where are they? Anyhow, yes, I was saying I spotted these tiny, tiny little guayabera formal shirts for children. I had never, ever seen them so small. And they are coming up on the right-hand side. It was so tiny, I felt compelled to put my hand over it just so that you would get a scale of the shirt. Look at that. And look at how small it is. I mean, it, it's, it's, they, they are baby sized. <laughs> and I said, they're beautiful. And he said, they're not expensive. But again, I was not shopping. I was simply taking a look at things up close. Uh, also, if you're like me and you're always mindful of where the nearest restroom is because you have to go number one frequently, um, I'm not shy to confess. There is a restroom on the island. I think you get to pay five pesos or ten pesos for the privilege, but there is a public restroom there. And we are starting to approach the River Cafe, of course, Eva the woman that runs the River Cafe uh, always keeps her area pristine and it definitely looks beautiful around here. This is two days ago and it was a beautiful day, beautiful day to be out. It was humid as hell. It was one of those 100% humidity days, but, um, but there's a lot of activity and that makes me happy.
And here is the handicap accessible axis on this other side. This is a little bit dizzying because it's a lot of back and forth. But hey, it is good that we have these accesses in the island so that everybody can hop in and hop out. And we are now going under the Ignacio Vallarta Street underpass. And there's always a couple of vendors here selling tiny little um, paintings or illustrations. The guy on the other side, I think, sells uh, paintings made out of coffee. And this building on the left is where the, the market used to, uh, used to take place. But it is now a, a canine cantina, and we'll take a quick look inside in a second. And here we go. There's this fountain that I've never seen working with decapitated turtles. I think they're trying to build new heads on the turtles or something. It is unfortunate that some of the features on the island are not as well kept as others. And we are getting close to the surprise in this walking tour. I had an up close and personal encounter with a wild animal, a wild, loud, shrieky animal. But first, this gentleman on the black shirt on the left recognized me. He referred to me as Mr. Ojeda. I was not planning on stopping, but um, I was kind of obligated. And this is, this is what uh, the space looks like. Check it out. If you have a doggy, and you want to your doggy to have a fun time with other doggies. They have different areas for smaller and larger dogs to spend quality time with one another while you're having a cocktail or four. Uh, this is fun. I mean, if I had a dog and I lived in the vicinity, I would want to hang out there because it would be good for my pooch. And then we are approaching, everybody get ready. This is, this is almost time. It is almost time. We are approaching the museum on the right-hand side, the museum that is never open, and trying to get into the museum. There she is, right at the door, a giant chachalaca. And I say giant because that's about as large as they get. Of course, I try to approach it carefully. I said, sing. And it didn't want to sing, and I just chased the chachalaca away for the fun of it. And I continued on my journey. Chachalacas are those very loud, squeaky birds that God created on a day in which she was not happy and gave them that nasty song. Moving right along, of course, is Oscars. And Oscars also always looks pristine and very well kept. Yes, Luisa, that would be your sister and my sister, Chachalaca. And right before we climb up the steps to the pedestrian bridge, there is that bust, that sculpture, that creation on the right-hand side of none other than young Elizabeth Taylor. Or so they say. There she is. Looking happy. No comment. Okay, I, I will comment. I have no idea why they put that there. But that's just me. It's not my bridge. It's not for me to decide. What can I tell you? A quick turn around for you to take in the view. 
And yes, it is nice to spend time walking through the island. I never cease to be surprised, although I don't I try not to shame anyone who has never walked through the island. But if you haven't done this ever, you know, it takes 20 minutes of your day. It's right in the middle of the city. It is surprisingly relaxing and um, and it's surprisingly rewarding. I strongly recommend a walk through the Isla Rio Cuale anytime you find yourselves in town or in that particular area of the city. The end. And this brings us, of course, to our comments. Let us take a quick look at what you guys are up to today. Um, lots of good mornings, lots of good mornings, and those are very appreciated. Uh, Luisa says, 10-year anniversary, yay. If that is at your anniversary with Lucas, congratulations. Uh, congratulations. I know that Lu Luisa and, 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 and Lucas have moved to Guadalajara. She's been sharing her adventures with me and I've loved reading them and I can't wait to visit Guadalajara to spend time with you guys over there. Lots of good mornings. Um, Bill, it is great to read you. It is great to see you. Uh... Good morning, Paco. Let's all start the day off by putting all this past week's crap behind us and enjoy Friday and look forward to a wonderful weekend. I know I certainly am trying my best to do that, Chris, and I'm happy to report that the worst part of my week seems to be over. And I thank everyone and everything involved in making that happen. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Patty's heading down here tomorrow. I think you have nothing to worry if you're arriving tomorrow. Things are looking good and mellow. Ed says, looks like Sunday will be a doozy. Unfortunately, you are correct. If, uh, if this thing heads our way and it progresses into a higher category, it could be it could be challenging. All I can say is we'll keep our eyes on the forecast. We know the drill. And if we don't, we will be happy to hold our hands in preparation for what could be an interesting weekend. Uh, let's see. Many, many, many hellos. Uh, we answer the chemicals for mosquito sprayers. Again, Debbie. Please take a look at the fine print on the product of choice in Google. That's always a good idea. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Hold on. My bad. There you go. More good mornings. More good mornings. More good mornings. Jeannie thought she felt an earthquake at 8.45 a.m. You know, I haven't felt anything lately then again i've commented before on my wa my wobbly chair i'm never sure if it's the chair if it's the ground kathleen asks <clears throat> is the department of culture likely to issue one of these for the festival of our lady i haven't been able to find one if you are talking about our guadalupe procession days in december Yes, they will feature one of those at some point, but think about this, Kathleen. And the one that was issued for something that is going to happen in less than two weeks, they named one of the events as a saxophone player is going to play. They didn't even name the saxophone player by name. If I was that saxophone player, I would be a little miffed. So what I'm trying to say here is the city traditionally takes wait until the last minute to gather all these details so don't expect specific information uh about the procession days for our lady of guadalupe until maybe three days prior to the event uh what are the loud booms randomly going off late at night and very early in the morning my friend's neighbor said they are jesus cannons my dog goes crazy when they go off um Fireworks, fireworks, uh, that's what they are. Different churches may celebrate different things that we're not even aware of. Uh, people may have some surplus fireworks from Independence Day. People may have nothing better to do. I couldn't tell you. But yes, that's what they're called. People call them Jesus cannons. 
And yes, your dog and everybody else's dog and cats and other pets go crazy with them. Uh, let's see. Michael says, is Oscar's restaurant closed now? When I have passed by, it's always closed. Tell you what, Michael. Oscars has a web page and uh, they also have a Facebook page where you can most likely find their cell phone number or their telephone number. I suggest you give them a ring and ask them that question. Unfortunately, we don't represent the restaurant, so we cannot answer for them. Let's see. Troy has a spinner on the balcony and, and, and likes watching it and so does my new puppy. He says, you know, I, I wonder how expensive it was, Troy. I, I would love to get one for myself, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I just did this walk the other day and found a cute wooden chihuahua magnet. They look just like my grand puppy. I love it. <laughs> one of the vendors said to me, come buy some stuff you don't need. Well, that's, that's, that's the spirit. Sherry says, I have bought lots of purses and wallets there. Uh, I have thought about buying a lot of things there, Sherry. And for better or worse, I have found a lot of the same merchandise for less amounts of money when I go to Pitillal. Now, you may not find yourself going to Pitillal frequently, but if I'm going to buy stuff uh, like sombreros, which I believe somebody else commented on there, you know, the Isla is not the best prices but the isla is easy to get to and convenient uh paula asks were all these vendors destroyed during the hurricane i don't think so paula because they are still there kicking um but i'm sure there were uh, there was damage to the island that was last year so i cannot be very specific as to how much damage there was Uh, 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 the dog park is a great idea. Yes, absolutely. If I had a dog, I would be hanging out there all the time. Arturo says, I want a guayabera so bad, but not sure they carry the extra, extra huge. If you want a guayabera so bad, Arturo, I would invest in, in a quality one. And there are a couple of stores in town that wear the really, really well-made ones. They're not, they're not inexpensive because of the craftsmanship and the time involved in making them, but they're definitely an investment. I have an extra large one. I have a couple of them, and I love to wear them to, to the opera or the symphony. Uh, Angelica asks, wasn't a medieval queen in Europe called Chachalaca? I don't know. Never heard of this, but she could have been out there. <laughs> oh Claude, I love you. I think Paka was trying to make your sister kick her leg up like you. Um, not particularly. I really just wanted to get close to the chachalaca, but then I I noticed that I, I was not going to succeed. And when the chachalaca started running, I just said, you know, oh fuck you, I'm gonna chase you away because I can. Uh let's see. Brian says, when you said Chachalaca, I thought Luisa was back in town. Oh, Luisa has never left. She will always be in town with us. Yes, even Luisa agrees. I am there in spirit. Yay. Uh, David says, love the second half of the walk. Very much miss all the sights, sounds, and smells of the neighborhood. Well, I'm always happy to walk places that make you feel good. So there you have it. Uh, let's see. See you in the air. That will be tomorrow, right, Michal? Please let me let me know whether you guys are actually arriving so that I can make the preparations that you required. I've been house-sitting Michal's plants all summer um, and have realized that I'm not doing it again. I love you dearly, dear friend, but house-sitting plants is, is, is just too stressful. If you go to the military camp, are you going to film it? You know what, Mark? I most definitely will if they allow it. I don't know if they have any kind of security uh, things going on. and um, But 
yeah, I'm very curious as to what, what goes on in there. Hmm. Let's see what else. I think we are doing it. I think we're done. Don says, getting nervous. I fly in Saturday. Pray flights don't get, canc don't get canceled. I will keep, I will keep uh, my fingers crossed. And again, we'll keep you informed of what's going on out there. This was, my friends, our coffee and headlines for today. Tomorrow, tomorrow we will feature our interview with Charlie of the new uh, uh, the, the new Vietnamese restaurant. Uh, I will practice my PHO, I promise. But uh, we will bring that to you tomorrow so that you can support this wonderful new location. They're going to be bopping once the, the farmer's market comes back. Anyhow, have fun. Stay kind. Stay happy. Stay um, connected. Stay healthy. Stay in touch. And I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.